hit deploy to save your changes, then click on the function URL to confirm that your landing page is being displayed as expected. I turned my Lambda function into a stunning landing page. Now I only use two AWS services to make this happen. Amazon S3 and the Boto3 library in AWS Lambda. How? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on create function and give it a name. Choose Python from the runtime dropdown, hit create, then head to the configuration tab. Click on function URL in the left menu, hit create, then choose none for authentication type. Hit save, then confirm that you see a function URL attached to your Lambda function in the overview section. Next, we're going to give our Lambda function read-only access to Amazon S3. To do that, click on permissions in the left menu, then click on the execution role. Select attach policies from the add permissions dropdown, then search for Amazon S3 read-only access. Hit add permissions, then navigate back to the Lambda window, then head to the Code tab. Here, I'm going to copy-paste pre-written Python code that starts by importing the Boto3 library. Then on line 3, I'm initializing the S3 client. Inside my Lambda handler, on line 6, I'm specifying my S3 bucket. Let's create a brand new bucket now by heading to the S3 service. Give your bucket a name, uncheck block all public access, and let's leave all the other settings to their default values. Hit create, then go inside your bucket and navigate to the permissions tab. Click on edit in the bucket policy section. Here, I'm going to copy paste this bucket policy from this AWS guide that gives public read access to all the objects in my bucket. Let's replace the bucket name template variable with the actual bucket ARN, then hit save. Next, head to the objects tab, then click on upload. Here, I'm going to upload all the files that support my landing page, such as the index.html, my hero image, the JavaScript file, and the CSS file. Looks like all my landing page files were uploaded successfully. Let's confirm this by clicking on the index.html file, then click on the object URL. As expected, my index.html file is publicly accessible. Next, I'm going to grab the base URL and head back to the Lambda tab and paste it right next to my base URL variable. Let's also replace the S3 bucket name variables value with the actual bucket name. On line 10, I'm calling the get underscore object method to get the index.html file, then grabbing the contents of it and saving it in the HTML underscore output variable. On line 13, I'm replacing the base URL template variable with the actual base URL inside my index.html file. If I open my index.html file, you can see that I'm using the base URL template variable in front of my CSS, JavaScript, and image file, so they can be accessible during runtime. Finally, on line 15, I'm returning the HTML underscore output as the body. Also, don't forget to specify the content type as text slash HTML in your headers so that the Lambda output can be rendered as a web page. Hit deploy to save your changes, then click on the function URL to confirm that your landing page is being displayed as expected. Now say you wanted to replace the value of your h1 tag without modifying the index.html file, all you have to do is add another replace method with the HTML underscore output variable. There you have it. And to make this live, simply redirect your landing page URL 
to your Lambda's function URL. 